Ah, uh, spring has sprung in the northern part of Denmark, which means that thrifting season commences for yours truly. The new season has brought with it the discovery of a previously unknown thrift store, possibly because I had never been in this part of town yet, and I don't know if you caught it, but that street name does indeed translate to Odin Street. This place looks much smaller on the outside than it is actually and had quite a decent array of video games and some stuff on VHS alongside the usual movie DVDs. Going out to my bike you will see a fun transition here to a nearby store that is actually the relocated store I mentioned in a prior episode. This is now situated in what used to be a supermarket so the place is quite massive and the media section has a lot of stuff to look through. I even found a Romanian to English technical dictionary. So the place has lots of movies and music to rifle through, but despite its large collection of media, the gaming section is super small, however it did feature considerably more diverse PS2 titles than I usually see, and since I now own a PS2 Slim, I picked up a bunch of them. I've been constantly mentioning and you've been noticing probably the ever presence of sims titles on my trips. In this particular shop I found a literal box of sims. At a certain point I managed to meet up with my buddy Randolph who owns and drives an automobile so this meant I had access to some farther away shops than I can usually bike to. This particular one also had a small gaming section but it did feature some cool finds. I took the pharaoh but left the patrician to there for a future collector to find because I already had that exact release. Oh and this is just a bit of weird find, manga in Danish. I had no idea this existed. So now we're off to the largest thrift shop in the region, a massive place that is spread over a ginormous piece of real estate which has a decently large movie zone and then we found the gaming area. <laughs> oh there's a lot of PS3 stuff. And that's about all the outside footage I have. I'll transition with this shot of a recently unburied river. Ah, and from that unearthed river, here we are at the show and tell portion of the video. By the way, I might have noticed maybe some amount of discrepancy between some of the footage. I recorded those things over several trips starting with I think the end of January and the one with Randolph happened in mid-February anyway. So that's why some of the footage is maybe darker or uh, there's clouds uh, and whatnot than the other, than the stuff I started with. We'll start with what I've gathered over this start of the year. And I actually had the, those PlayStation 2 games I got. Unfortunately, I've already had, the, I already got this GTA San Andreas. I got this as a donation from Randolph, I believe. But when I got this, I didn't know I was getting the donation. Because again, like time-wise, this took a while to get, gather all these things. But I don't mind it at all. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I can then, uh, I can re-gift it to someone else at a certain point. Because uh, San Andreas, granted, Vice City is way, big of, uh, way bigger of a title as far as I'm concerned for me and my general friends. So that would make for a, an even better present let's say but this will make for a pretty decent present as well likewise with this uh, guitar hero 3 legends of rock i think i got this from randolph as well thank you again bud same thinking uh, with this one very important because this is the one i played on pc as well now something i didn't have let me check is this still in? yes it is Ooh, and it has the manual it's uh this is tekken 4 i'm looking for tekken 3 because that's the game that's the one I actually played the demo of at a friend's house on his PlayStation 1 if I remember correctly yeah PlayStation 1 and it made quite I, I played a few demos and a few games uh, at this friend's house on his PS1 that really made the uh, left their mark on me and those are titles I'm looking for also happens I think those are uh, some of them are fairly popular hence expensive like medieval for instance uh, this isn't exactly three but uh, it was close enough to get it for me to get it I don't know how good or shitty this one is but uh, again my, my PlayStation 2 slash 1 collection has just started and I am still quite the particular collector in this terms as well just like I'm collecting particular PC games. Oh, and yet another cool thing I got on PS2, I got 13, which I received on PC uh, from my 
donation uh, last year as well with the manual which is cool so now uh, if and when i get to do the when i get to do 13 i can uh, i can maybe do a comparison as well i do want to cover 13 because i've never played it and i always wanted to play it okay but now we're going into pc area and this is none other than roller coaster tycoon dos which if i'm not mistaken no manual cousin but it, it is in the in the best of Atari Red case, which I kind of like. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have the expansions for this. And I think I now have all the Roller Coaster Tycoons. This one I got, well, first of all, I got because of the cover. And I hope you can see the effect or maybe not. It depends on the lighting here. So this is Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc. Now Rayman, let me check. Oh, okay. It has the manual. But it has a broken page but it's fine i don't mind also it's in the it's in norwegian swedish and finnish no danish well that's funny but the game is here it's a three cd game it's a three disc game rayman is a pretty important series of platformers at least in europe i don't know how much it made it up it made it across the atlantic or you know in in asia or other places but in europe rayman was a pretty solid platformer series i played some of it some of it i don't think i've played this one but i was glad to find it and i really enjoyed the hologram sort of um, cover probably the worst in the series this is sim city from 2000 and i want to say 13 maybe which if you were around back then disastrous release disastrous game because i think you had to be online to play and the server sucked and everything why did i get this one because i haven't actually seen any other sim city title during my thrifting runs uh, and even though the sim city series isn't something i'm super into i am enough into city builders and into collecting in general to you know i will collect the sim city series maybe not all the sim universe stuff although i do have sim world i believe because there's a there's a shit ton of them but sim cities yes they have a they have a pretty solid place in in the history of city builders in general as evidenced by me starting with sim city 2000 in my city builder iceberg video from earlier so yeah i started with this one maybe i'll find hopefully in time i'll find the other ones as well oh this is something in a in one of these cool uh, cardboard thingies this is majesty Two, which is a series of RTSs, I want to say, that I had no idea existed until I reviewed a game called Driftland, which had a mechanic kind of similar to something in Majesty. And people have commented about uh, how that mechanic reminds them of Majesty. Uh, that's how I got around to getting this. I've looked through it. It looks like something I would have played normally for whatever reason. I had never heard of it until Driftland. This is the Baldur's Gate Anthology. It's the first one and Tales of the Coast and Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Baal, which I have separately. I think I have Shadows of Arm and Throne of Baal. I, I definitely have Throne of Baal. I'm, I'm sure I have this one. It was one of the first things I got. Again, Baldur's Gate never really got into them. I tried playing both of them. Never could really get into them for whatever reason. At the time I was playing them, yeah, the the combat, the, the sort of real time with pause slash wait for orders. At the time I was trying to play them, I tried to play them, didn't did not click with me, just not. And even now I still generally will prefer pure turn based. But the series is part of gaming history, part of RPG history, part of PC gaming history in general. So there's that. And talk about history, but maybe not the greatest kind of history. I now have a Gold Edition Heroes of Magic 5 in English. If you remember a couple of videos ago, I got one in French. So I'm surprised and happy to have found this one in English. It's from the uh, exclusive special Fuck Ubisoft thingy, but uh, yeah. Good, my heroes, uh, my heroes titles are, uh, my hero series is getting, uh, is getting there. And as you've seen in the footage, Pharaoh. I already have a Pharaoh. I think this Pharaoh is a bit, yeah, this, uh, th this case is a bit worse for wear. Not sure if I actually have already a Pharaoh or not, but this one has the manual in it, which is awesome. So even if I do have it, look, I love the impressions game so much. I think I'm gonna get all of them whenever I see them, regardless of whether or not I have them. I'm gonna hoard them. And talking of hoarding, 
not really that was a bad segue what i have here is yet another sold out game which i gotta say i've i've started building up a very particular affinity for the sold out games i kind of want to get as many sold out games as i can that interest me and this definitely interests me this is worms united which is basically worms one and worms reinforcements which i think was an expansion if i'm not mistaken so this is the first and quasi second worms title and just give, give me a sec so so I'm, so I'm collecting the worms series and i'll show you the other uh, the other worms i have which sounds really weird but it's all about the game so yeah this is worms united and these are all of the other ones uh this uh worms this is worms for mayhem this is the only one that isn't sold out yet but then i have i have worms 2 i have of course worms armageddon and worms 3d and i looked into the worm series and they released something like i want to say almost 20 titles granted they're not all for pc uh, some of them are console exclusive slash mobile but even for the pc i think they have they have well over 10 titles so that's a mission right there i need to collect all the worms series because the game especially worms armageddon uh, although I played all of them up until Armageddon as well. The game was really important to my not childhood as much as, you know, teenagehood and general development of my gaming tastes. Keep in mind it is turn-based tactical, uh, even if it is with the comedic twist. So that's about it for this episode of Video Game Thrifting in Denmark. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Steven Ansens. I have a Patreon and I hope you have a great rest of your day.